Why play Zed mid? Well, he brings great burst damage. He's very strong at split pushing, he's good at all stages in the game, and he's slippery to get a hold of and lock down. However, he is reliant on skill shots needing to land his Qs, and he's not a strong team fighter preferring to split push and duel. Zed's passive is his auto attacks against targets below 50% health deal additional damage. This does have a cooldown against enemy champions, but it's amazing for farming and taking objectives. Zed's Q is a straight line skill shot which deals damage to all enemies hit. However, after hitting the first enemy, it deals massively reduced damage to all targets after. Zed's W has a passive where he restores a large amount of energy whenever him and one of his shadows hit a target with the same ability. The active throws out a shadow, and when Zed uses his Q or his E, the shadow will also do the same. Zed can also recast this ability to once to swap places with the shadow. Zed's E deals damage in a circle around him. If an enemy was hit by the shadow doing this ability, however, they're also slowed. And if enemies are hit by multiple uses of the E, the slow is increased. However, it doesn't deal any additional damage. Also, the cooldown of W is reduced by 2 seconds for each enemy champion hit by this ability. Zed's ultimate is a point and click ability which causes him to become untargetable and dash to that enemy champion, leaving behind a shadow in his place. After a short delay, he then reappears next to that enemy champion, marks them and gains ghosting. After 3 seconds, the mark will detonate dealing damage, and it will deal additional damage the more damage you dealt while they were marked. The shadow left behind by this ability will use all of Zed's abilities in the same way that W does, and Zed can press R again to dash back to this shadow. For combos, your basic trade is to use W, then immediately E to slow. After this, try to land both your Q and the Q from your shadow for massive damage. From here, go in on the W and attack if needed. When chasing a target, alt into your E and then land both your Qs. Attack away using your W to chase down as needed. And your all-in combo is to throw out your W into ultimate, following up with your E into a triple Q, spamming away with additional attacks. For matchups, Zed is great into a mobile mages who won't be able to avoid his damage and he'll easily be able to get onto them. And he can struggle against tankier mages who can easily lock him down. For runes, take this. First strike is just great damage and gold. For build order, start longsword and three into a Rav Hydra and tier two boots. After this, an eclipse and black cleaver are great pickups before finishing your build with any of these as needed. For skill order, start Q then W then E before maxing Q then E then W taking ult whenever you can. For summoner spells, take flash and ignite. Starting the game, your main focus is going to be on farming hard, poking where you can and taking good trades. For the first few levels, Zed will often get pushed into his own tower. So from this point, you just want to pick up as much farm as possible. But once you start hitting levels four and five, your Q does a great amount of damage. So here's where you want to start by using your W E Q combo as often as possible. And after you land a few of these combos, go in on your W to get your passive off as well. And of course, once you have ultimate, you now have an insane amount of single target damage. So if you ever find an opponent on 60-70% health, your WR into your full combo should absolutely blow them up. Entering the mid game, your bot lane will usually come mid which puts your gold and experience in a side lane. This is perfect for Zed. Especially with picking up a Rav Hydra first, Zed loves split pushing. So keep pushing hard for towers. If they send one person, ultimate them and blow them up. And if they send multiple, simply get out of there. When team fighting, wait until after the team fighter started to flank onto their backline. Use your W and your ultimate to get onto a squishy champion and blow them up with your insane amount of damage before jumping back to a shadow.